Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel K. You might know me from my Instagram at Mrs. Rachel Krauss. And today I am taking you through a Trader Joe's grocery haul. We are going in for groceries for two weeks for my little family of five. There are three of us who eat human food. We are going to get started. It doesn't even look like there's a line today. Yes, so we're gonna go ahead and head on in. If you like these kinds of videos, don't forget to smash that like button below. Subscribe and turn on your bell notifications. I post a grocery haul every Thursday and I post every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday on my channel. And go ahead and leave me a comment down below with what your favorite thing to get at Trader Joe's is. Let's leave a bunch of comments so that everybody has a bunch of ideas next time they go to Trader Joe's. Oh, thank you so much. Have a good one. <laughs> You guys loved seeing the new items from last time. So I'm back again. Here's what we've got. Some kitchen garden candles, some hand wash, watermelon facial mist, that looks fun. Overnight mask. I bet you. I wonder if that's like a dupe for the Laneige one, I believe it is. Um, some coffee. We've got some honey mustard and onion pretzel pieces. Oh, I bet that's super good. I bet that's like the Snyder's one. Slightly salty, smoky, sweet flavored seasoned popcorn. Interesting. White bread mix. Italian dressing, the same tomato ketchup that I got last time. Soft nougat, tart cherries, watermelon fruit spread, some organic sugar cones, many things snack mix. I like, like Chex Mix basically. Avocado oil, the sandwich cookies, halva, some gummies, sprinkle jangle, pickled jalapenos, some lemon wafer cookies. Lots of new goodies. If you guys have never been to a Trader Joe's or just skip this section, they have so many dried fruit options as well as nut options. It goes, I mean, it's this entire aisle and they're all pretty reasonably priced, honestly. This huge bag of freeze dried banana slices, $2.99. Like it's not bad. I'm grabbing some sweet potato fries. These are frozen and they are $1.99. Also gonna grab potato tots. These are $2.49. We also need some organic potatoes. We have been out of butter for quite a while, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab this. They have a lot of dairy-free options here. So like here's some vegan cream cheese, two options of that. They have a lot of dairy-free yogurts, as well as a lot of just regular yogurt. A bunch of milk options. A ton of eggs over there, but we don't need eggs. They also have a ton of fun little like juice options. I know these are like crazy expensive, but I kind of think they're like fun, you know? This is the best price I've seen on this kombucha though. If you've watched my previous Trader Joe's hauls, you know that I always come for the organic frozen brown rice. Mm, I think we'll get two of them. The sweet. We still have one left in the freezer, but this should get us through. They have a ton of like frozen breakfast items as well, as, as well as like a lot of frozen meat um, and dinner type items. They have a lot, like their frozen stuff is pretty dang good. We just have too many allergies that have to be worked around. And I have heard the version of these that has chocolate in the middle. Oh, these are so good. We're not getting these today, but we've had these turkey corn dogs before and they're very good. You just pop them in the air fryer. And then above the frozen meat, at least in my Trader Joe's, they have a bunch of candies, caramels, chocolates, anything you could possibly imagine. And they do like little holiday themed ones as well. So in the fall and the winter time, they have a lot of fun stuff. We've had these before, before our allergies were tested and all that. Um, and these were really good as well. A lot of people love these like mini cones. Super good stuff. They have great popsicles. 
chocolate covered bananas and strawberries. And then I've heard amazing things about not only the cheesecake, but this key lime pie. This I am grabbing for myself. I keep one of these in the fridge and just have it whenever I need like a little treat. It's really good. They also have a ton of little fun snacks, crunchy things like chips. Anything you can think of. But what I, ooh, I really did not have what I needed. I usually get that kind, but they're barbecue chips. So we will have to go elsewhere for that. These are pretty good too. We've had these before. They have their own brand of Cheetos. And actually, Derek loves hot Cheetos, so I'm gonna have him try this kind. We're gonna grab one of these oats. I still have some in my food storage, but I think it's just always good to keep on hand. We use oats all the time. They have a ton of different chip options and these salsas, if you've never tried their salsas, and actually I'm gonna grab one of these this time. This is like holy grail type stuff but their salsas are incredible as well. Specifically the Pepita one. I've used the Salsa Verde in a bunch of like chilies and stuff. And then the Salsa Authentica is really good too. But we're just gonna go with this because I have plenty of that avocado salsa from our Costco haul. So like I said, they have a lot of great milk options, but these are great prices for almond milks, oat milks, coconut milks. I mean, pretty much anything you could think of. I bet that matcha almond one is good. Blueberry lavender, chocolate. I almost forgot I'm making bacon and peas with mint this week. It's so good. I'll try and leave the recipe down below, but I almost forgot peas. So we're back in the frozen section. I'm looking to see. Okay, they have some peas right here. I need two bags this week. These are $1.59 a bag for a pound. While I'm back in the frozen section, I just wanted to show you, they have really great prices on frozen fruit and a lot of different varieties as well. So like this, one pound bag of pineapple tidbits, $1.79. That's pretty good for frozen fruit. Everywhere else I go, it's pretty expensive other than Costco. But they also have these acai packets. It's their brand and it's organic. And those are $4.49. Pre-made acai bowls with granola, $3.99. If you are into smoked salmon, like putting it on your bagels or something, they have a great selection here. Just a ton of different stuff. But this one, I feel like Yes, that is a winner. When I came here last time, a lot of you guys said you wanted a better look at the dip section. So I'm gonna show you right now. They're constantly getting new stuff, but they have like a soup selection here. And they just came out with this new vegan mac and cheese. They've got a bunch of burritos and this is like guac. Then if you come on down, they've got some refrigerated salsas. And then down here is like your pre-made chicken enchiladas, you've got meatloaf, things of that sort, like pop in the oven type of dinners. They've got some jicama wraps. This actually looks interesting. We are going to try this because I'm always on the hunt for something that is like gluten-free, dairy-free, all kinds of things free, and this is just jicama. So we're gonna try that. I'll let you know how that goes. They've got a bunch of little snack packs, some cauliflower thins, hummus. They have so much hummus here. This black bean dip, I've had this before with my sister-in-law, Alice, and it was so good. So here's all of the hummuses. We've got the Mediterranean hummus. This is the best one I've tried. Three layer hummus, chunky olive hummus, tomato and basil hummus, spicy hummus, roasted garlic hummus. And then they have chocolate hummus, which which is amazing with fruit. I love that stuff. Spicy avocado hummus, buffalo style hummus. I've tried that one too, it was really good. Eggplant, just regular organic, and then non-organic regular. And then over here in the dips, they've got artichoke and jalapeno, salmon, spinach and kale. This one's really good. And then this is just like the heavier version. Buffalo chicken dip garlic dip this is a great like vegan dip that you can add to any of your sauces or stews anything like that they've got a bunch of pub cheese vegan ranch dip cashew fiesta dip actually i'm curious about that i bet that's like a cashew queso bacon ranch and cheddar dip a lot of you guys said that you love this one and this one as well the caramelized onion and last time they had a dill pickle hummus but i wonder if they sold out right next door they've got like a bunch of alfredo sauces bruschetta sauce and then this pesto is actually really, really good. Some more beef and cream cheese, a bunch of ravioli. They come out with like seasonal ravioli and they're really good. They don't have the one 
right now that I love. It's like the corn one, but can't eat it anyway. I am gonna grab some of these pickles though. If you are into crunchy pickles, you will love these. We are also going to grab some tofu for super firm. Perfect. Trader Joe's is also kind of known for like their amazing cheese section. So if you are a cheese fan, they have a ton of really cool different cheeses. We don't eat cheese, but well, Derek does, but they've got some really cool stuff here. I am going to head on over into their like cured meat section though, because we need some pepperoni. You get this whole pepperoni thing for $2.99, which is pretty good. Super. It'll come off for me. They have a ton of other stuff here too. If you are not sensitive to a bunch of other stuff, um, they have a great bread selection, but they also have some gluten-free stuff. So those are gluten-free bagels up there. This is some gluten-free bread up here. And we love that stuff as well, but it does contain eggs. So if you are sensitive to eggs, probably not your style. These brown rice tortillas are great as well. I have enough tortillas on hand at the moment. Actually, changing my mind. I'm gonna grab a pasta because you can freeze these. They're great to freeze. If you know me, you know I love this stuff. I like this one, not the sweetened one. So we're gonna grab some of that. And we need some unsalted peanut butter. Perfect, right in front of my face the whole time. Their pre-made bread and brownie mixes, that type of stuff is really good as well. They've got a bunch of pancake stuff, just pretty much anything you could need at Trader Joe's. But they have a lot of really cool seasonings. So they have the onion salt, they are totally known for this everything but the bagel seasoning. And it's really good for good reason. Um, they have a bunch of new seasonings that they've also come out with as well. This is seasonal and I got it last year, the barbecue rub and seasoning with coffee. It's really good. The chili and lime, which I'm assuming is kind of just like tahini, but maybe cleaner. Also, if you're looking for something fun, it's a little bit spicy, but not too spicy. This stuff is great. Sun-dried tomatoes, capers, all kinds of stuff. And I always grab several of these packets because we use them. They're great. They don't have any additives. Perfect. We're coming into the pasta aisle here and I love this stuff. So they have a bunch of different pasta. And even as far as like, if you're not allergic to brown rice and quinoa, they have a lot of great stuff here too. And this is where we typically sell. Grab two of these and two of these. Great prices too. Two ninety nine. Can't beat that. And then I always need some nutritional yeast. We run out. So over here they've got some sauces for like Mexican -y type foods, Mexican and I like Asian inspired type foods. This jalapeno sauce is really great, but super spicy. I've heard great things about the spicy taco sauce up here as well. They've got a bunch of like teriyaki sauces, coconut aminos, and then a bunch of jarred fun stuff. So we had these marinated artichokes last week and Logie Bear loved them. So I'm definitely getting him a jar this time. And then this barbecue sauce is my favorite, which we are also out of. It's got really great ingredients you can see there and it's $2.99 for this bottle. I also need some quinoa. I'm gonna be making granola with this. So I think that's it. I think I've gotten everything on my list. So let me show you guys our final part. We've got some jicama wraps, a really clean and great tasting barbecue sauce, some crunchy fresh pickles, two boxes of frozen organic brown rice, some brown rice and quinoa spaghetti, some like squiggly pasta as we call it. Same, the brown rice and quinoa. We've got some creamy unsalted peanut butter, brown rice tortillas, super firm tofu, quinoa, sunflower seed butter, which y'all know is my fave. We've got two bags of frozen peas down here, some organic vegan butter, pepperoni, tater tots, some organic oat. We have chipotle black bean dip. You need to get this. Artichokes, nutritional yeast, three things of taco seasoning, spicy Cheetos, their brand version. We've got some sunflower um, buttercups, mint, some sweet potato fries down here, some organic potatoes. Y'all, I think that is it. So here you go. Let's go see what this is gonna cost me. If there was something in the store that I missed that you guys really wanted to know about, let me know in the comments below and I'm happy to go through those aisles for you next time. Just let me know. 
and I'll show you. They have a lot of interesting fun stuff here. I'm on my way up to the register, but I had to show you guys this. So I got this last summer. It is amazing. If you guys are having like a pool party or even just for yourselves, it's really good. They also have that watermelon cucumber cooler right there. Super good as well. Bunch of lemonades and juices for like a really good price in my opinion. They also have this jalapeno limeade, which I've heard is great in like margaritas and such. Some ginger beer, all kinds of stuff. And then they have a whole huge section back here with beer and wine. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, thank you. Have a great day, thank you. You too, thank you so much. <laughs> Alrighty, you guys, that was it for my haul at Trader Joe's today. I got so many fun things for $90. That's why I love Trader Joe's because you can get stuff for relatively, like a relatively great price, especially if you need to work around allergies. They have a ton of different options and just fun seasonal stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and smash that like button below. Subscribe, turn on your bell notifications and toggle over and click all. And that way you won't miss another video from me. I post every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday on my channel. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye.